fight in the workplace. Hey, it happens. It happens. But when it happens, what rights, what kind of claims can be brought? Well, that brings us to this week's case. And particularly the question is, when a fight occurs in the workplace, what role, if any, does workers' compensation play? Our case this week involves a guy, he was working for P.F. Chang's down in Arizona. He was Chinese, he spoke very little English, and he was always being ridiculed by his supervisor. Well, these guys continued to have significant friction. They got into a fight. Fight resulted in this employee getting hurt. He brought claim against his workers' compensation carrier, the guys that insured the restaurant. And the workers' compensation carrier said, hey, no dice. We're not paying anything here because the fight didn't arise as a result of a dispute in the workplace. What they meant by that was that the fight wasn't caused by some disagreement that their employment caused. Example being, if one guy was a line chef, another was a sous chef, the sous chef came along and said, hey, Mr. Line Cook, you're not getting this stuff out fast enough, began berating them, they got into a fight. Well, that would be a workers' compensation claim because it was a claim that arose from a discussion dealing with what was going on in the workplace. But if you have a fight, at least traditionally, between people who, who are fighting about something unrelated to the workplace, and the fight just happened to take place in the workplace, well then, there wouldn't be coverage. At least that has traditionally been the rule. So the case went to the courts, went up on appeal, and on appeal, the Arizona court found that, in this instance, there was coverage. Was coverage because they invoked what they called the strain and friction rule. Strain and friction, which means that if these guys were forced to work together, they didn't get along, they increasingly got along less and less, but still they were forced to work together in the workplace because of the jobs they had, well then, if a fight breaks out, it's covered by workers' compensation. Now this isn't the rule in every state, but this is now the rule in Arizona and several other states. The purpose of this is so that you understand that when situations arise in the workplace that nobody likes to see, but they still do happen, there are rights that are available, but they're going to vary depending upon what caused that fight and depending on what state it happened in. Well, we bring you this case this week so that you can better understand the law, so you can make the law work for you. I'm David Allen.